Hello everyone, this is Tuju Jaman from Engineering Studies. In last episode, I discussed on the gradient of a scalar field and introduced NABLA in Curtis and Coordinate System. Today, I'll discuss about the form of NABLA in different coordinate systems along with short discussion of the coordinate system. So, if you are here for the discussion on spherical and cylindrical coordinate systems, you are in the right place. So, uh, there's the equation of NABLA I gave in the last episode. That's your list of the coordinate system. Here, U1, U2, and U3 are the space coordinates that differs from coordinate system to coordinate system and h1 h2 and h3 are the metric conversion coefficients so what are those metric conversion coefficients these are some multiplying coefficients that requires to convert a differential angle change to a differential length change so what about this we all know the formula a is equal to r theta here an angle theta can be converted into a length s only by multiplying it with the radius r here r is the metric conversion coefficients that turns an angle into a length so this will be the insight of uh, this episode now first we have cylindrical coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system the space coordinates are r, phi, and z. That is, e1 is r. Uh, let me enlarge the page. u2 is phi, and u3 is g. So here, here that's our point, r, phi, and g. There's the perpendicular line drawn from the point to the x, y axis. Actually, sorry xy on the xy plane sorry so there's the orthogonal projection of our point and r is the distance of this orthogonal projection from the origin and phi is the angle that r makes with the x axis with the x axis and g is the height of the point from the xy plane so here r and g are here that is r and that is g are two lengths so for them we do not need any metric conversion coefficient only metric conversion coefficient that is required here is for phi so here h1 is 1 and h3 is also 1 so what about h2 just look here if we rotate r in this way just keep in mind the a is equal to r theta formula if we rotate r in this way then the arc formed here tells us that this angle phi or any differential angle change in phi can be converted into a differential length change if we only multiply it with r here so h2 will be r <clears throat> and in a spherical coordinate system there are three coordinates r theta and pi so here h1 will be one as you can see e1 is r that's length but we have to figure out h2 and h3 now guys look r that is our point that is our point uh, and r is the distance of this point from the origin that is r and this angle is theta and this and the and this is the orthogonal projection of our point on the xy plane so on the xy plane that is our that is x exists that is y exists so phi is the angle that the line joining the origin and the orthogonal projection of this point creates with the x axis so if we rotate r in this way then the angle or the or any differential change in angle theta can be converted into length 
if we multiply this with r just remember a is equal to r theta formula this will be very easy and if that's r then from simple trigonometry this length will be r cos theta and this way this length will be r sin theta so it will be also r sin theta so if r sin theta rotates in this way then the angle or any differential change in angle phi can be converted into length if we multiply it with r sin theta therefore apparently h2 is here r and h3 is r sin theta let's go for a quick example uh, we all know electric field intensity is the negative radiant of potential in this example the potential is given in a spherical coordinate system that is clear from the parameters r theta and phi are here so now from the discussion we just have we can easily write the equation of nabla in a spherical coordinate system with the with, uh, involving metric conversion coefficients and space coordinates so here as e1 is r h1 will be 1 e2 is theta therefore h2 will be r and u3 is phi for which h3 will be r sin theta so these are our required space coordinates and metric conversion coefficients so for those who don't know in partial differentiation all the variables except for the variable with respect to which the differential process is performed uh, these variables are created to be constants hence the third term will be zero as no phi in the expression for p so that's our third term phi cap delta by r sin theta del phi and within first bracket there will be the expression for potential this term will be zero and the calculations are very simple and we will eventually get to the result the result will be minus r cap cos theta not cos theta actually minus theta cap not sin theta so that's all for today thank you and please comment your thoughts about this episode and don't forget to subscribe it's important to make sure you're not missing any of the upcoming videos thank you and good day